So low egg reserve or low ovarian reserve is when a person, for what we expect for their age, has a lower number of follicles in the ovary or a lower egg reserve. Sometimes this is also termed diminished ovarian reserve. So patients with diminished ovarian reserve are some of those patients that we really want to see early. We know that over time, a patient's ovarian reserve is going to go down. That's part of the normal reproductive aging. But when we're doing infertility treatments, we're trying to maximize the opportunity for those patients. So growing more follicles than they do every month. So rather than one or maybe two, we're trying to grow as many as we can to maximize that opportunity. So we could offer patients treatment like intrauterine insemination but often for those patients we often recommend going straight to IVF to maximize that opportunity especially if they're thinking of building a family that's just more than one child because often if they come back in a future pregnancy or two to three years later that reserve might be even lower so you know those are some of those options there sometimes for our patients whose reserve is very low and they essentially are entering the perimenopause or menopausal phase we're not able to offer them IVF so often with those patients we'll talk about third-party options like donor egg so to diagnose low ovarian reserve, we use two things. We use blood markers like AMH or anti-mullerian hormone or FSH or follicle stimulating hormone that gives us a sense of what the ovarian reserve is. We also can do an ultrasound where we look at the ovary and we count the number of follicles that we see in the surface of the ovary. This is known as antral follicle count. We put those pieces together, but we also personalize it to the patient. So we try to understand what is their age, uh, what kind of medical history do they have, and what are their goals. And we put that in perspective for patients to then understand what the right treatment is. So people ask me this question all the time, what do we do to improve our ovarian reserve? No, it is part of the normal process of reproductive aging, to, so to a certain degree, it will happen over time. And the ovaries are often on their own clock. You might be a very healthy person, you might be a marathon runner, but age is not forgiving. So to a certain degree, uh, sometimes we can't stop this process, but we can definitely do things that worsen it. So, living a healthy lifestyle by that I mean not smoking not using drugs limiting the amount of alcohol that you drink maintaining a healthy weight eating a healthy diet and exercising can all contribute to having a better ovarian reserve there are sometimes some supplements that have been shown to have some data in improving you know not necessarily the amount of eggs but sometimes the quality and these are things like CoQ10, there's some data about growth hormone, but those treatments are not for everybody. So I usually have my patients come talk to me and we'll discuss the literature, or I usually encourage other patients to speak to their provider so that they can see if any of those options are good for them.